Thank you, sir. I stand here to participate on behalf of the NCP on this debate on the budget for Jammu Kashmir. I would just humbly ask the Honorable Finance Minister as a request. This is not about right or wrong. But deeply, all of us are very proud Indians and very committed to every state which is going through a difficult and a challenging time, and Jammu Kashmir being one of them. And when we are debating the such an important discussion of a budget of a, such an important state, if you gave us 24 hours in the future, I hope we don't have to discuss it again. You will take elections soon there, so it will be discussed in their own assembly. But if such circumstances do occur, we would appreciate if you gave us a little more time so that we could have more extensive debate is a humble request. I would want to speak only on the budget, but I'm too tempted to reply to Sri Jitendra Singh, the Honorable Minister. I do understand he comes from the state, he's lived there, he's born and brought up there. But like most Indians, for us, Kashmir is a dream holiday. I went to Jammu several times because my mother is very God-loving and she's taken me to Vaishnav Devi several times with her. And as a family, we didn't go abroad in those days. We traveled in India and Kashmir being the best holiday. Agar is desh mein swarg ya jannat kahi hai, to wo Kashmir mein hai. So, when I was young, I went to Kashmir many times. So it was very interesting because I also happened to go with my family. I was not privileged enough to go on any committee to Kashmir, but I did go with my husband and my, chill, my daughter to Srinagar. And there are few observations I would like to bring to his notice. I met uh, the person who runs the Delhi public school there. It's called, it's Mr. Dhar's family which runs, who happened to be Kashmiri Pandit. And I was not going to make this an issue of pundits or locals, but since he specifically spoke so much about them, I would like to bring something to his notice. He talked so much that this government wants to do so much for Kashmiri Pandits and so much injustice has done to them. I want to ask him pointed questions to the Honorable Minister Jitendra Singh that this Delhi public school schools 5,000 children there. Even through the extended and challenging times, one family who did not leave, fought, survived, and ran a school was no government agency. It was this Dhar family which ran Delhi Public School. They had attacks, they run their own buses, and today what is this government doing to them? Sending notices after notices. They are questioning them on who their teachers are, sending them notices on some fee structure, whether it's run efficiently, so is this how you're helping Kashmiri Pandits who really stuck it out with you? Is this the justice that Mr. Jitender Singh was talking about, Kashmiri Pandits, that he is feeling the pain for? He doesn't feel pain for these 5,000 children who are studying they there today and the teachers who are studying there. They also run specially abled children's school I inside that there. campus. I'm so glad, Mehtab Ji. Thank you very much. Yes. This is one school which has school, they accommodate children with special needs. And this is how this government wants to treat them? Is this their love for Kashmiri Pandits? Is it only limited to what happened 70 years ago? These things happened before even I was born. How many years are you going to be a prisoner of the past? And blame somebody. Agar mere father ne mujhe aur padhaga, to mein Harvard geti. Because obviously they don't read Vedant. Could, would, should are all given. Thoda sa Vedant padhi aap. Stop being a prisoner, live in the moment and go ahead. What are we going to do as Indians for our Kashmiri pundits and people of Kashmir today and for their future is what we are debating in this budget. And I think that's what this budget document is about. He talked about so much about corruption. I'm glad he did. Who doesn't want a corruption-free environment? Satpal Malik, not by us. It was your governor. He was the one who made an allegation. 200 crore rupiah ka allegation kur file ka chakkar tha. Main nahi keh rahi sir. Ye Satpal Malik ji keh rahe te. Sab ne padha hai, desh ne padha hai. So what about that corruption after all these wonderful changes you've made? It's so easy to sit on one side, sir, and criticize somebody. Really, why don't you go and see what the ground reality of Jammu Kashmir is today? How many hotels have you built? Today, the Honorable Tourism Minister, all hotels are full. How many new hotels have you built? How many roads have you built? I've been to Srinagar all my life. I've been to Pelgam. Nothing has changed. It's the same beautiful, simple people of Jammu Kashmir who I met years for years and years and years. So what big interventions has your government make? I want to ask him. And funnily enough, I want to bring something to his notice. Manoj Nanaure, 
Chief of Staff, Mr. Paul Divisional Commissioner Srinagar, Mahesh Dikshit IB Chief, Major General Sanjay Vishwarao, Anand Jain, Burampur IPS NCF Chief, Sanjay Nahar, who works with all the children from Kashmir, all Jai Maharashtra, all people from Maharashtra who are today based in Srinagar. We don't think about you versus us. We all are Indians. So when you make such serious allegations to other people and this history, it's so unfortunate. Who said that? No, I'm not yielding now. You missed my first speech, which I was asking you I for. We ne, we, I am as much Maharashtrian as you are, Adogra. Well, I'm glad you are, but then I don't bring up the history and say, Oh, Atal ji ne acha kiya ya galat kiya. You have forgotten Atal ji, I haven't. Because he was a great leader I, uh, who had... I'm not honorable yielding. Honorable speaker, I heard her saying some time back, that we don't say what we have done with our mother-in-law. नहीं कहते तो ना शुक्र है आपके माता पिता ने आपको इस काबिल बनाया कि आज आप लोकसभा में ऐसा नहीं कहिए वी कॉन्ट फॉरगेट व्हाट वी हैव गॉट और नॉट गॉट फ्रॉम माता पिता यस आप भी तो यहां माता पिता की वजह से पहुंची हैं प्लीज कंटिन्यू मैंने तो डायनेस्टी को कभी नहीं कहा मैंने तो अच्छा ही बोला है हमारी डायनेस्टी कोई दिक्कत नहीं डॉक्टर का बेटा डॉक्टर हो तो आपको चल जाता है हमारे भी क्या दिक्कत है आपको अभी छोड़ दीजिए my father and mother can leave anything else. Don't leave your mother. It's not easy to get over the legacy. That is what I'm saying. Legacy of a nation, legacy of a country, legacy of a society. That's not nothing to do with personal. Legacy of a nation, legacy of a country, legacy of a society. That's not nothing personal. But you only referred, so I think that's besides the point. I refer to you for a reason because you refer to a story about Kashmiri Pandit. So I was just bringing to the notice of the, I mean, unfortunately you were not here, about a Delhi public school which is in Srinagar with schools 5,000 children and what that family is going through. Mehtabji was very kind enough to even add a point that children with special needs are doing. I'm just bringing to the kind notice of this government of what a Kashmiri Pandit has contributed to Jammu Kashmir. 5,000 children, Indian children yes. are taught there and how much suffering in policy and trouble the education department, there's no specific, is giving to them unfortunately. So she, I'm she's informing an important head. matter. In the house. I am only trying to help somebody's child. And I also draw your attention. I don't care about everybody's children. I am very proud of my parents. I have no problem with my lineage. Anyway, so that's not what we are doing. We are not discussing where I was born. Please sit down. Sit down, please. So I am glad. Proud. So am I. Very good. The other thing I was just. Why you are disturbing? No, so Piyaj is making a good speech. Why you are disturbing? Anyway, Please. on us, what I wanted to talk was seriously more about the budget. I was not going to bring in, but since he had this, I really felt because I have visited that school. Even during challenging times, I've seen how the Dhar families pained and what all they and their teachers have contributed for education. It's something that really deserves an award and recognition in this country. What I would like to talk about the budget, which nobody, unfortunately, even the Honorable Minister did not say. There are a few questions I would like or bring to the notice of the Honorable Finance Minister. Now, in the budget, there is a sector-wise revenue expenditure. In this, what is written, I'd like to bring on the page 13 of the note that she has uh, circulated, is that the hospitality and protocol is minus 70, uh, minus 4.72%. In infrastructure sector, public works is at minus 8.76. Public health engineering is minus 1.42. And there is more. In social sector, which is also a little concerning, which is health and medical education is minus 5.40%. So health and med medical education. Then there is infrastructure sector, which even Mr. Reddy and Sagata Babu already have spoken, so I won't re revisit it. But power development is minus 9.25%. In that public works of infrastructure sector is minus 6.9%. Transport, uh, transport is minus 52%. And in totality, the finance sector planning, development, monitoring is minus 41.7% and finance is minus 18.62%, total finance sector is minus 23%, and overall it's 17.40%, that's all it has gone down. And the most worrisome number in this entire document is that the debit GDP ratio, this is the book of what the finance ministry has given us, that the percentage wise, the debt at percentage of GDP is 53%, it has been the highest ever. This is what it says. So the gross state domestic product, the, the debt liability 
number has been the highest since 2010. So this budget is very, very worrisome because the numbers, there are so many sectors which you say you're doing so much improvement, then there is how much, how come there's so much minus? Now in the power sector, the same numbers have come and the same projects have come, which all the earlier sp uh, speakers have said. So, and the word is the likely investment in these projects is, what does likely investment mean? I mean, whatever little English that I understand, likely means it may happen, doesn't assure. Last six years, we are hearing the same thing. So this likely investment is a very worrying statement. Mr. Reddy talked about shawls. He's such a gracious man. When he went, he gave all of us gifts to promote uh, Jammu Kashmir. He got us all the MPs gifts from Srinagar just to support. I think that was such a large hearted thing that he did for us. And Pashmina shawl, something we are all proud of and all of us like to have. To extend that, this government has started a program of integrated sheep development program. I didn't understand this program, if you could kindly say it. It says that they are importing, sir, please note, around 1,200 sheep goat units to be established in creation of employment opportunities for 2,400 people. 200 elite, which is also very interesting, 200 elite cross-breed imported merino sheep to be introduced for genetic upgradation of local sheep for production. I mean, when all these years Jammu Kashmir has done so well, I see no reason for this. I mean, it makes no sense. I don't know who's really planned it. Imported sheep. Imported sheep. And other times, we are only talking about B Indian, Atma Nirbar Bharat, local, uh, vocal for local. I don't know what this intervention is from. Another question, this is my ignorance, so I would like to ask for a clarification. Is 7750 crore have been provided for the Jal Jeevan mission for achieving the objective of 100% pipeline supply in each household? Now, most states, you have, the state has to contribute the same amount. So, is there some different package given to Jal? If it's given, I have no problem. If the state which needs help, we are happy to help. But 7750, because normally when it's given to other states, the states have to contribute also an equal amount to match it. Now, with looking at this ratio of the way infrastructure cuts have happened, how, is the, how are we going to achieve this? Then there is a 200 crore provision for smart city. Then there is some mention of Amrit city. Sir, last time also I had spoken about this. Amrit and smart cities are not some great success stories, at least in the country where are the state I come from. Smart city has a, is a failed project. The government has spent over 150, 1,50,000 crores on Smart and Amrit together. And what have we achieved? No great has, has anybody looked at the impact assessment of this? Nobody has. So I really want to know through this budget, what is this government going to achieve? You know, talking about periodic blockages of internet. Saugata Royji talked about uh, the Kashmir Council. I think Nishikan Dubeji had a big objection to it. I think the point you were trying to make was, if with your permission, I would like to just sort of correct it a little bit, correct it or it may not be the right word, but the point he was trying to make is that the commerce, uh, all the industrialists together who are there for the last several years in Jammu Kashmir are very upset that because of the internet connections being stopped erratically, what happens is the business gets affected. And so a lot of money over a period of time has been lost because of this. Electricity still is a problem just because our delegations go and in Srinagar you see electricity, that doesn't mean that's the situation in the entire country, in the entire state. Another quick question is, are all government schemes totally implemented today on the field is my question, if the Honorable Minister could uh, add. Vaishnav Devi, as I mentioned earlier, there was a huge stampede at Vaishnav Devi. Now the Ambarnath Yatra will soon start. So has there been great big ticket improvements in both these yatras or infrastructure wise since you are constantly talking about improvement what really big improvements have said i can't see them after my visit so what really have they achieved which hotel have they improved how many airports have they done what railway interventions have they done what great there is a lot of money been put in but do we have better roads like when i went to srinagar as a child it was one of the most beautiful cities in the country or probably even in the world it had char chinar this time when I went, it had only one chair. And it was actually, I hate to use this word, probably a little unparliamentary, but it was actually filthy, the Dal Lake. It's not as beautiful, as clean as used to be. So what have you really achieved in the last few years? You've been in governance. And let's not only get tied up to 370. There is life before that and there's life after that. People still live there. Log maha rehte the. One rule is not like a magic wand which changes your life completely. It has to be a combination of things that really have to make a difference in their lives.
Yes. So what is it? Sir, last one point I'll have to make. This, they keep talking about jobs. I would like to ask, there were thousands of jobs that they promised. Nothing like that has really happened because that's the field. The JK Bank is mentioned in the budget. I'm sticking to everything they mentioned in the budget. 200 crores and some thousand jobs created. Have they really created those many jobs? 1,000 jobs barely are created according to the budget document. So what is this intervention? Even uh, the Honorable Minister talked about Jhelum and Dal Lake. I want to ask, there was a big project about Volar, uh, Jhelum and Dal Lake, a big, beautiful program. So in the last six, seven years that you've been in power in the center, why nothing has happened regarding that? So these are many, many questions we want to ask because we want to work with you. This is not only about criticizing you. We really feel Jammu and Kashmir deserves the visibility, the investment, and a Thank better you. livelihood and a safe livelihood for every woman and child and citizen that lives there. Itne agar utna acha hota na, the bichari vaha ke shawl wale Kashmir to Kanya Kumari bhatak tini rehte, jaise bichari aaj bhatak rehte. Agar itni achi ye sab thik kar dete Kashmir me. So I request them. And one last question, I can't resist this punch that they said so much they wanted to speak about all these Kashmiri pandits and their love for them. How much of this? I mean, I couldn't read. I'm not Einstein like uh, my colleague Manish uh, Tiwari said, nor am I such a smart, speedy Gonzalez who can read very fast. But in this entire big document, and there is more, there is no Thank mention you. of any Kashmiri Pandit or specific intervention done for refugees who yes. left Kashmir during the insurgency or Thank during you. or who have come back. So if you feel so solidly for them, please include them in documents and make it a reality for their life. Let's not live only in a bubble. It's time they deliver. And you know, abhi saad, saad saal apne kya kya bhi boring ho gaya. Kuch naya dialogue nikali hai. Seven years is a long time to do something. You know, bachcha kuposhit hai, kuposhit hai. Saad saal mein usko khana khila ke maa doda ke school bhi bhej deti hai. Saad saal mein itna ho sakta hai ek maa ko. So let's get out of this 60 year debate. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Honorable member Patriri Mehitaab ji. Mehitaab ji.